Hello HSC students and uh, welcome to this promotional video to assist you from the um, ETA. So yes, the New South Wales English Teachers Association here is here to help you with your HSC. I'd like to uh, bring you to your attention here this uh, event that we're going to be having, which starts on the 10th of June. It's called Mastering English for Paper 2 for the 2021 HSC. And you can see what an extensive viewing time it is from the 10th of June, just before the end of term, right through to Sunday the 5th of September. That's over 12 weeks. And that's a really critical time of your HSC year. So you can see that we're offering this for you because we really want it to fit in with your trials, with your HSC preparation, and with your consolidation of all of the work that you've been doing in your own school. So how do you register for this very extensive um, event, online event? You go to the English Teachers Association website, and you'll see on the home page that there are a series of events and one of them is called Mastering Paper 2. Please click on that and you can see that you can get the full program and the registration form. It's a really easy process and we want to make sure that it's clear for you. So what kind of a program are we actually offering to you? It's a very extensive program. First of all, we have so we have some teachers who are going to be unpacking the, the overall concepts and ideas of paper two for advanced and standard. And that's to help you differentiate what differentiates module A from module B from module C. How, what are the different approaches to each of those modules that you need to be doing? Because it's not just one size fits all for all modules. We're covering many of the texts for advanced and standard in module A and B. And we have, many of the texts are actually covered in two parts. The first part is looking at the text and its ideas. And the second part is looking at how you can uh, ex ex explore that particular text in the exam for the exam preparation. We even have some sessions for EALD students, in particular the listening one, which of course is for every EALD student. And we have... Module C, the craft of writing, which we know is the one of the areas of challenges, but one of the areas of delight as well for advanced and standard students. But what really excites me is we have two absolute stars from 2020 to share with you their tips and hints and insights. We have Kiara Simos from at Kalani Heights High School in Sydney, and we have Mia Tom from Byron Bay High School, and both of them did extraordinarily well in the 2020 um, HSC, and they're going to share some of those uh, insights and some of those uh, tips that helped them become successful. We also have detailed documents for you to download, and I would be suggesting that you download them before you actually start viewing and preferably on paper so that you can be using those skills that you'll need in the pen and paper exam in, in, in um, October. And you can annotate, you can add to it, you can highlight, you can asterisk to show all of the important things. So sometimes we've got um, a scaffold like we have here for you to watch uh, the, uh, the presentation on the castle. Uh, we've got, uh, sometimes we've got the, the PowerPoint made into a PDF and this one in the middle there is for uh, the listing exam for EALD. And sometimes we have a Word document of the content. In this case, that's for the, the Truman Show from uh, the presentation by Cassandra Kennedy for Module um, B in, uh, in Standard. So how could you use these recordings? So um, on the screen there, you could see a screenshot from the presentation on Henry Lawson, and that's a superb presentation by uh, Rosemary Hensel from Willoughby Girls. And you can see that uh, she has outlined some of the rubric verbs, and then she's talking to them. So how could you use them? You could watch them in class if you've got other members of, of your class who have paid and registered for this program. You can view it at home and that what that's what makes things uh, much more flexible for you. You can view it at any time, anywhere, in any order. So you might like to have a look at, at the two students. You might like to hear what Kiara and Mia have said and what resonates with you. What are a few points that you would really like to work on 
for the trial and then for October. Uh, I would also be looking at the specific text so that you might want to watch The Castle, you might want to watch Dunn and Wit, or you might want to have a look at Henry Lawson. And so have a look at those. And if you've already covered those in class, well, you can then say, well, what extra information, what extra insights am I being uh, given from this one? If you haven't looked at it in class, it's going to be wonderful background and, and consolidation of information. Many of the, uh, the texts are in two parts. And so we cover the text we cover the text, the ideas, the concepts, the, the key distinctive features. And then in part two, we've broken that down to how you might like to look at it in the examination. So you could watch these in your July vacation. It will be fantastic um, opportunity for your revision for the trial. And then post-trial, you can also be looking at it as the lead up to the big event on the 12th of October. We do have another HSC event, and this one is for English Extension 1 students. It opens on the 24th of May and it goes right through to the 6th of August. So it also fits in with your trial prep time. Again, you can view in any order, any time and any place. It's a massive program. Again, we have some two, 2020 students sharing their hints and tips. Uh, we also have um, a senior marker from the Marking Centre who will be talking about the exam. We have a full hour on the common module literary worlds and every single extension one text is, cover, is covered. We also have notes for you to download. So how do you register for this one? Uh, it's, it's the same process, but if you want to register for the Mastering the Paper 2, please remember to go to our website. It's there for you. We want to help you with your HSC. All the best, good luck, and please take care and look after yourself and each other. Thank you.